running again. <sighs> this is a moment that needs to be grasped upon quickly. God, like I said, there's a Holy Spirit move going on here, and I hope that you'll get involved. I just posted to my community, my community page a picture of One for Israel. This is Dr. Soraf from One for Israel, the Jewish festivals and the times of Messiah's return. The title is The Appointed Times of the Messiah's Return. I'm going to leave a link to that. I've got three comments there. It is fascinating how this works. Number one, there's only 403 likes on this video, and there are only 3,000 views. These things go to sometimes 20 or 30,000 views, even larger, depending. And I believe it's important to get this witness in, because they're talking about the Feast of Tabernacles, and they're talking about fathers and children, and they are talking about uh, the dwelling in tents. And it has been my understanding, through my daughter's drawings, a father and a child, that um, the Feast of Tabernacles is a time for the rapture. If it's this year, we need to make people alert. They are praying that, that God would work in their ministry. Well, let me tell you, when a five-year-old says the rapture is going to be at Tabernacles, and it matches up with biblical writings of Paul, the, the Apostle Paul. I almost didn't call him an apostle, but he calls himself an apostle, and it's still in the Word of God. So he's an apostle. The Apostle Paul, out of a five-year-old, it's a work of God. So why isn't it being shared? Because it's not time, but this may be that appointed time. All I want them to do is see it. And I can use your help to get them to see it so that then they can say, this is something special. And they will move this forward to the Jewish people in the land of Israel that God is at work and using the Gentiles to be a light to them, to their salvation, to lead them to Christ. Interestingly enough, he says, I'll, I'll, I'll read you my comments because... There's three of them, and of course, you know, the longer we wait, the more spread out these are going to be throughout their, um, their comment section. At 20 minutes and 2 seconds, so that's 2002, he speaks about the father and the children. My daughter was born in 2002, 2002, and her testimony is of what they're talking about, and it's a father and a child. Why don't they take a look at that? At 22 minutes and 40 seconds, he says that God would break through their hearts. And the Strong's Greek 2240 leads to Matthew 8.11, which says that, I say unto you that many shall come from the east and the west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. How will that happen? Because the testimony will go out. That's his prayer, that the testimony goes out. And at 2240, it leads to the Greek 2240 and to, hey, it's going to happen. And I had one more comment, and it's probably further down and now lost. Ah, there it is, 43 minutes ago. And then we have them. I said, thank you for speaking this at 1714, the Feast of Tabernacles. 1714 leads to the Hebrew 1714, which is Numbers 152, when the tribes pitch their tents. To pitch a tent is to build a sukkah or a tabernacle. The Holy Spirit's all over this. The timing of when they are saying things is leading to scriptures, referring to things that they're saying, referring to things that I'm saying. I'm asking you, please, go there and draw their attention to these comments that they would understand. I'm going to post this ASAP so that I can get this up before people watch this and go, oh, hmm, okay. They need to know. God bless and take care. I believe this is a move of the Spirit. If you believe it's a move of the Spirit, then please take action. God bless and take care. Bye.